In this presentation, we will look at creating a product cost collector. We are still in the cost object controlling section, in that we are in the subsection of product cost by period. There are two cost objects to product cost by period. One is the product cost collector, the other one is the cost object hierarchy. We will concentrate on product cost collector in this presentation. Once again, the definition for product cost collector is a cost object or cost object which collects the periodic actual cost incurred in the production of a material. To create the product cost collector, we come to the SAP Easy Access menu, come to Accounting, Controlling, Product Cost Controlling, Cost Object Controlling, Product Cost by Period, Master Data, Product Cost Collector, KKF6N, that's a transaction code. It says edit over here, but you can create it from the same transaction code as well. So editing and changing and displaying, or uh, sorry if I say it correctly, creating, changing and displaying is all the same transaction code with regard to product cost collector. So I'm just going to execute the transaction now. And that will bring you to the screen over here. By default, it'll say display product cost collector. If you have just changed something, then that recent material will be coming up over here. Now here you can specify a range of materials for a specific plant and in the system will automatically create your product cost collectors. I'm just going to specify one material and for one plant and we'll see how to go about creating one. First, you must specify the material. So I'm going to specify my finished goods product, my one kilogram vanilla cake with icing. The material number is 3030. Just going to specify that over here. Then I'm going to specify my plant as well, ZP02. Then I'm going to click on this icon over here to create the product cost collector. I'm going to click on that. And that will bring me to this screen. Order type, I have just created a new order type for product cost collector, MNM1. So that should appear when you try to go and select that. Then you can see there are three different levels. Controlling level for material, for this particular material, which level do you want to create? I'm going to choose the bills of material and routing level. That's one I've been creating all this time. I've created the bills of material for this product and I also get the routing activity for this particular finished product as well. So I'm going to select BOM slash routing. And then for this, my planning plant, bills of material usage, I'm going to select number one. That is for the production. Alternative bills of material also, I'm just going to type in one. Task list type, I'm going to select routing over here. Group count, if you can remember the group count ID, you can just key in over there. Or you can also search for the material as well. Just going to see whether I can pick it up. Here it is, 501530, that's ID. And then click on confirm. And you can see there are some default variants coming over here. Profit center gets picked up from the material master data. And this costing variant, costing with actual plan, costing sheet, this are all getting picked up from the previous configurations that we have specified. So product cost by period, remember there are some configurations we have specified, including the results analysis key. This again coming as a default combination between the order type and the plant. Some of the configurations which we did in our earlier presentations, all getting filled up over here. Then I'm just going to click on the header screen over here just to go on to the next tab. And you can see it's been given a description it says BOM dot colon one slash zero one routing and on so on. I can change the description to something more meaningful or I can just leave it as it is. I will put up a more easier description. I'll just say 3030 product cost character just to keep it more easy for me to understand that. And my company code is coming automatically ZMNM. My material number, this is the material number I've specified. My order type, this is the product cost collector order type. And the order number has been just given here by default. Then created by, created date, and so on. Then let me go on to the next screen. We just scroll on, there's nothing more else. Production process over here. Again, this is coming up over here. I'll just, again, I can change it to something more meaningful. I'll just copy this description over here and then paste it here as well. You can put a capital P over here. And as you can see, there's a production process number has been identified for this particular product cost collector. Again, the plant and the information which you have specified in the data screen is getting copied here as well. 
Now you can also specify a costing lot size.